You know, I don't understand why you wouldn't rejoice and you be happy for your niggas that's right beside you. You feel me? Mm. Especially when you, you know, you preaching that we wasn't making you no money. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, we wasn't making you no money. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't profitable. You feel me? And, you know, it was only a couple hundred thousand views a week or whatever the case may be. And it just wasn't, you know, he was coming out of pocket. So at that point, you know. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to be a burden. You feel me? Like, and I'll take that burden off my homie hands. You know what I'm saying? Cause I could take care of myself as a man. I didn't want to be, you know, sitting there unwanted. So, you know, of course, why not just move on? Like I said, it was inevitable, inevitable for us to move on anyway, doing our thing. And I would, I would, you know, think niggas would be happy for us. Not trying to sit here and say, you know, we was tarnishing the business or, you know, you would want better for your business or these contracts and all the whole shit. You no, know, I'm not opposed to any contract. It was just never offered to me. You know what I'm saying? When you got your key players right there fucking with you and sitting right there with you, you got your key players right there. I'm going to fuck with my niggas. That's like if you got a star player on your team, you want to sign him to a contract, you could you sign him to his rookie contract. After that year, you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need my, my, my max out. That's mm. what I was, you know, that's what you would probably want to do as a businessman. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, it's maybe it just all came too fast for him. You know, these business practices, you know, wasn't common to him. You know, all these uh, podcasts and shit like this just came too fast. You know what I'm saying? So that's true. I don't call him, you know what I'm saying? And us, we just doing our thing, like we said, like, and I got to, I can't wake up with somebody saying, you know, they want to change you know, the direction of their channel and shit like that. Like, that's why I said it's an, it's a, it was inevitable because that's that make me uneasy because what if this was my livelihood? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Lush would say, like, what if this was my livelihood, cuz? And I had to wake up and I don't know what this nigga feeling any day and the nigga like, hey, cuz, uh, I'm a, I got to change the direction. Hey, you ain't on this and you ain't on this. Like, and I got to pay my rent. That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? So coming where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I know, I have to take control of my own destiny. You feel me? Like, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? But ain't no love lost, though. You feel me? Like, ain't no love lost. I'm not speaking down on no nigga. 